YouTube's What's Up. It is time for us to confront the final scenario in the El Cid campaign. I know we zoomed through this one, but it's what you got to do. You got to blow by the El Cid campaign. It's really not that difficult. A couple of scenarios you can get uh, through very quickly. Um, and it's fun being the Spanish, though, so you might want to savor that for some time uh, later on in your Age of Empires Cocker's playing. So, in this scenario, the final scenario, uh, Reconquista, we have to take out, this is a conquest scenario, unlike a lot of the El Cid campaign, uh, scenarios. We have to defeat the three armies of Yusuf. I wasn't aware that the Black Guard Army and Navy worked for Yusuf, but apparently I am now. And uh, the Navy is located down south on your on the mainland, connected to Valencia. And the Black Guard Navy is up here and some scattered uh, bases. They have a couple stables, uh, siege workshops, and one castle. And they will con uh, confront you and uh, assault you and very, very early on with the units they initially have. But because they have no resource gathering structures or units, they will not continue to produce um, any, uh, any um, army, any siege units or anything. They have some cavalry archers and stuff. And the Black Guard Navy also has a very weak base to start off with as well. And we can stunt their growth right away with the initial units we have, which is fortunate. Um, hence... You're eventually going to need to expand out from the Valencian Fortress that you're in currently. And it's the same map in some respect um, to the King of Valencia. But all this side of the map, this whole stretch about like right here, use of controls. So we're just going to be sitting on the opposite side of the, the sea from him. And it's going to be basically a bearing straight type skirmish uh, um, scenario. Uh, this, you're gonna have to worry about the his cannon galleons, and that's about it. Once you take down the mainland um, enemies, so we kind of went over this right away. And I'm not gonna be doing a ton of talking, but doing some strategy building um, early on as we try to take down the Black Guard army and navy here. So what you want to do to start out with is you want to garrison um, all your two-handed swordsmen in here. And uh, I don't know if you have a market, not or you, uh, I don't believe you have a market yet. So we're gonna plop down a market right away. You want to send these two guys out here, um, have these guys gather, gather stone, and now send your battering rams out there. You need uh, um, at least one trebuchet that you're going to send over there. Uh, oh, two-handed swordsmen, get over there. And you want to send them in there, uh, check for idle villagers, make sure these villagers are coming with you. And once you get enough stone, you can start building your own castle towards the Black Guard army, and hopefully you can stay away from whatever units come your way. So idle villagers, um, so they're done. So you can bring them over here with you as well. And now you want to stay in this path, sort of. Um, and make sure these guys are on your trail. You want to stay in this path. And once you get into this pass between trees, um, skip the stone, obviously. You can plop down a uh, castle about right, or almost ready for the stone. So keep them right there. Um, these guys should be coming along the mountain very quickly almost ready for a castle 10 more um, stone to get so just chill right here for right now make sure these units are coming down all right so send them down here and looks like you're gonna get hit by the black guard army but you want to ignore them for right now so come on come on get me the stone get me the stone get me the stone there we go so now you can start building a castle right there that'll allow you to protect yourself from a lot of their units that will come through and you can send the, this cavalry uh, squad over here along with the, the battering ram and the trebuchet. So this is kind of a nerve-wracking, very important part to this scenario. Forget about this for right now. Obviously, you're going to have to worry somewhat about uh, somewhat about these siege units and crap like that. My poor Rodrigo. Tis only his horse who All right, so go for these cavalry archers first. But they will never have the courage and, to use Yusuf. All right, monitor what's going on over here. Make sure you have your siege units coming along as well. I don't know where that other battering ram is. I'm going to get on a normal map now as well. Alright, so get that cavalry archer and the battering ram is stuck over there. Alright, so take out these monks. You're going to probably lose a guy or two. Start off with not a huge deal though. But just make sure you're killing a lot of their villagers and sequestering them. And am I getting hit over there? No, I'm not. So that's okay. Keep bringing them down here. Um, obviously you're going to get rampaged over there. And make sure you're killing these uh, cavalry archers for sure. Alright, so kill them, kill them. Alright, so take out this town center now. 
Where's my other battering ram? Where's my... What are you doing over there, picking your nose? Alright, so they do have a couple more, um... I don't know what you would call them. They have a couple more... Oh, yeah, they have a couple more units. And I need a... I need, it looks like I need a couple light cavalry. So you send these light cavalry over here to take out those trebuchets. Not a big deal. Um, kill this villager. Don't let those villagers get back to the town center. You want to be able to keep your battering ramps in good health for as long as you possibly can. Uh, and keep monitoring over there as well. There's a lot of the unit producers um, on the eastern side. And you don't want to go for that castle right away. You want to keep this battering ram out of that range of that castle because you want to save it for the castle assault. Uh, and keep these villagers ready as well. Alright, so don't let anybody get in range of you so you can take these uh, these guys out now. You got those light cavalry coming out with the, the, with the food you, you had to start out with. Okay, so beautiful. Send them over there. Keep killing their villagers. Once that castle's gone, you can really annihilate whatever remains of their base. Holy crap. I guess this castle's not a huge problem. We've got those villagers right there to help us out. And send, this, send these guys over there. Kill any stray villagers that they send out there. You better be attacking my villagers. I would love that. Okay, so send him over here. Get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you, sir. No more fishing for you. Throw down your nets for the last time. Beautiful. Fall on your face. All right. Okay, so monitor this monastery. And make sure they're not producing any more units. Uh, mon monastery monks, whatever you want to call it. And that's useful. And we lost the castle, which we're going to have to rebuild, unfortunately, because Yusuf will send a lot of his units over there to try to kill us. And they are pretty aggressive with docks um, also. Uh, as you would expect the Black Art Navy to be, but also the Black Art are, are the Yusuf is as well. So we got them over there, so I'm going to send this Light Cavalry, take out um, that guy. And with this force, we're obviously going to be taking out, um, out of the range probably, we're going to be taking out uh, the uh, Black Art Army as well in this part, hopefully. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, go for the Monastery. Got a couple units over here that you can, I guess you can just garrison them for right now and get these Light Cavalry away. Um, just keep them um, around, around here on the outskirts. All right, so it looks like they got a couple. Shoot, they got a couple cavalry archers. We're gonna have to kill here. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, we don't want to get him to let them get to um, what's his name, uh, El Cid. Okay, so bring this trebuchets down here as well. Forget about the yurts. Um, forget about those. Do I have more light cavalry coming? Do I, where are my light cavalry? All right, so light cavalry unite, kill these guys over there. We have no castle obviously right now, so it's important that we get over there, um, or we can just attract uh, some of these cavalry archers down to our castle. So they have a couple uh, units out here on the uh, I don't know if uh, naval units or whatnot that will try to go for your siege units, but we're not going to let that happen. We're going to take out the dock and keep scouting around. Uh, making sure they're not spreading out with their villagers. They have a couple. They have a mining camp over here. They still might be working on. All right, so they're staying away from that. All right, okay, okay, not a bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, so go for the blacksmith, maybe. Okay. I don't see any villagers right now, so we're gonna go for this archery range. Uh, make sure you're protecting some of their units. Uh, that. All right, so they're, they're, he's gonna continue to go for that wall. So he's pretty low on health, and it looks like we can, we'll, we'll sneak this army back up here once we have the opportunity to do so, and the Black Art uh, Navy resigns. Um, they resign after you take on the, the university, every unit producer as well, so uh, it kind of takes a while. So we're going to use this trebuchet for something, if I can find him. Where is he? Where is you? Where is you? Okay, so take down the monastery. Um, do I have a light cavalry? I must have a light cavalry somewhere. Apparently not. Okay. All right. That's not good. Lost all my light cavalry to start out with. Beautiful. Um, and you can send these guys to work. Get you some more food for some light, light cavalry if you need to. Send them over there. What are you doing? What do you think you're being? You really think you're being productive? So thankfully those cavalry archers have left us. There's a relic that you can get as well, but we'll worry, we'll worry about that stuff a little bit later. All right. So send them over here now. Uh, time for some more important business to take care of. So take out this dock now. And hopefully they have no more units. You might want to um, keep that. Yeah, it's ideal that you keep that um, that that market there. But I built the castle and I kind of don't want to destroy it. So I'm just going to let him continue to do that. And 
there because there's plenty of gold on the map anyways uh, there's so much gold on uh, against when you're playing in Valencia maps generated maps if you know what I mean um, so you really don't have to worry too much about that all right so just check the score from time to time in the black Art Navy and if their score is continuing to go up or even slightly that means they probably have a villager somewhere they've killed some of your units so that's an indicator that they're still alive and well but it doesn't look like it is for them and this is how you get rid of them early on if you if you don't do it this way I think it's very difficult actually so the Blackguard Navy is done for we can worry about the Blackguard Army now um, obviously this cavalry archer is harassing my units so I'm gonna try to kill him quickly light cavalry are pretty not the best thing to use against a heavy cavalry archer but stay against those trees please please go down pimp smack alright kidding me Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it looks like we need one more um, light cavalry. Not going to get a hussar right now, just frankly. All right, so with these guys still garrisoned in those battering rams, you have a pretty powerful attack. And this is the major uh, point you want to focus on against the Black Art Army. It's taking down that castle. Uh, that will allow you to get rid of every other structure that they have. And Monitor Yusuf, he sends some units around here. It's most important that you um, keep these villagers alive, though. Or at least have a market so you can trade for some food eventually. But uh, you're going to need to get a castle up as well because he'll start harassing you uh, along here with his docks and whatnot. Alright, so hopefully we can take out that first raid. If not, uh, it's going to be a little dicey for a while against Yusuf. But it's worth the risk uh, taking out the, both the Blackguard Army and Blackguard Navy as quickly as possible. So this is an uphill battle. War, a war galley against uh, a galleon. Hopefully we can get rid of this fire ship as well. Uh, the galleons are probably your biggest concern um, because they're they're ranged units. Um, that guy will go down pretty quickly here. All right, so it looks like they still have some more cavalry archers, but I can afford that. Fish trap expired. Obviously, it got burned. That's what happens. All right. Oh, we're harassing. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> okay. And I don't really have any more guard towers that are able to take him out, and I'm kind of scared about El Cid being right there. In all honesty. So, trebuchet, ranged unit, that is the main reason that you have him, to take out the, the remaining castles. And I'm going to send some of my cavaliers in, take out that last trebuchet, uh, because you obviously don't want to lose that trebuchet, and if you do, you're screwed. And one of the things that is very confusing, Blackguard Army, I'm used to you being, or Blackguard Navy and Army, I'm used to you being the Saracens. You're the Turks now, you're pulling that trick on me, I don't know what to think. Same with you, Yusuf. It always seems when I got huge hordes of navy, naval units coming at me, it's from a Turkish enemy. So, it's kind of perplexing. Alright, so with these guys, you want to make them useful now. Alright, so we're going to send them out. And uh, it's, it's recommended that you, you know, I would build a mill or something, but we don't have that ability quite yet. So we're going to try to find some food um, on the mainland. And it doesn't look like there's too much food on the mainland. So we're going to send them over here for right now. Uh, primarily you're going to be getting food from the, from, uh, from the, from the, uh, the Mediterranean Sea. So it looks like we're going to have to come over here and start chopping some of this wood for the time being. Well, that guy looks more like a scout, so we're just going to keep plugging along, take on this castle. And once we take down this castle, the army will resign soon. Uh, obviously Yusuf's your biggest threat now, and it's your only threat essentially, but, uh, it can get pretty dicey. So I'm going to buy some food now. So I need to jolt um, in terms of getting villagers out uh, and getting some wood. Because it's important that you get wood first and then it'll allow you to jump in to get um, farms. So it's kind of a long process. Um, but it is beneficial. And eventually you want to probably destroy these structures right here. Plop down a castle or two, whatnot. Plop that down. Take out all of Yusuf's units, galleons, fire ships. So... Alright, so that will be down one or two hits, no problem. And then we can rush in our battering rams and our cavalry units and whatnot and have them come over here, protect El Cid for a little bit. And we got plenty of stone right here, so if you need a uh, jolt in stone as well, uh, you can just jump over there. So, Alright, so siege workshop now we can take out and just bring these cavaliers over here to take down these battering rams. Obviously they use the archery ranges to get their heavy cavalry archers and that's pretty powerful. Um, that could be a detriment to you, but hopefully um, with all your cavalry that you have right now. But good thing that um, they don't have any resource gathering structures to rely on. So bring these guys over here with the hand swordsmen. Love the two hand swordsmen get up for sure. I like it even more than the champion get up. 
All right, so with these guys, they're uh, done getting lumber in here, so we're going to send them outside of our base externally and have them build a lumber camp elsewhere. Um, just find a good group of trees. I recommend on the other side of that of that uh, that that foliage, just in case Yusuf drops off a couple units. Uh, and this castle will defend them as well, so that's a good point to be. And relic will be important to get soon as well, but obviously don't have a monastery up yet. And forget about those yurts. Uh, unpack this, bro. And uh, sorry for the technicalities I'm going through in this first part of the Red Conquesta scenario, but it's really necessary that you uh, you emphasize getting through this first part, this first I don't know 30 minutes or so game time. Uh, because if you take down the Blackguard Navy, it's going to be so much easier for you. They get really get a pain. If you get a lot of naval units out there, and especially with the design of your base, it's really not favoring a um, Fort Sumter-like defense against naval units, surprisingly. So I'll just kill this guy, no problem. You have him defend right here. I don't know if they have an attack bonus against siege units or not, um, but I don't know. I'm not that familiar with the Turks. And it always seems like Lepanto, Turks are on the other side of the sea, coming in with huge naval forces, dropping off units at me. You know, and any scenario that Ensemble likes to throw in there. All right, so it uh, looks like they have one more um, small encampment over here with, a, I believe, a siege workshop and a couple archery ranges, obviously, as you would expect. And um, just keep pumping that out, check for any idle villagers. We don't have any yet, and we obviously don't have anything to get any food in. Thank you for not killing him. I would be very pissed off if you did. So I'm just going to send a heavy camel over here, probably kill this guy, hunt him down, because they will be roaming the map for years upon years. A little Shadows X Elite hostile shore is what they will pull on you if you don't hunt down their cavalry archers when you see them. Because you don't have much of this map explored. Well, you, you kind of do, but obviously it becomes Black um, Shroud. Alright, so no resort your focus to the cavalry archers. Heavy camel's great against the heavy cavalry archers. And there, keep rushing them down, no problem. And have this guy take out the furthest away one. And don't you burn me to death. Don't you burn my camel to a crisp. Because my camel's sexy. Yours isn't. You know, I should link that rap into the uh, comment section. You know, that's fitting. We're the Spanish. We're the Spanish. We're the Spanish slash Saracens. It's a great song. Okay, so. Getting plenty of wood. Obviously, don't have a uh, two man saw, and I can't get that. So, with that, I'm going to build a mill of my own. Uh, somewhere inside my base, probably the most inland point I can possibly get. Uh, you know what, you want to build it on the other side just in case uh, you get hit a lot from some of these galleons. You don't want to get your farmers uh, ignored, and ignored, annoyed by war galleys and stuff like that. So we've got about two minutes left and Blackguard Navy should resign. If they don't resign, don't get discouraged right away. They probably have a heavy cavalry archer running around the map for a little while. You just have to hunt them down. You don't need to take out their yurts either. So they're done. That's all we have left is Yusuf. That's all that's remaining in between us and being the Greens and Montezuma, uh, the campaign. I know some of you guys are interested in that campaign. Don't worry, I'll be getting that up as soon as possible. So we're just going to need a jolt in terms of getting food. And now with that, we can send these this main army that did great work for us back to the homeland. And these guys are going to continue to harass us for a while. But once we get castles up, it'll be no problem. And always be monitoring... Um, transport ships as well and if you want to uh, and if you can try to um, salvage as many uh, fish traps as possible so we can finally get in the villager over here we can start working on getting food for ourselves and I'm gonna give a little another jolt um, for food get two more villagers up so I can start farming and I don't believe there are any sheep or anything like that unlike the last scenario we used all the sheep up that was a lot of sheep and the king of Valencia so these guys, you want to probably protect else it a little bit, keep them around him, because you will get uh, dropped off units from Yusuf from time to time if you don't have a castle there defending you, and they primarily primarily send um, some siege units and cavalry units. So if you need to, you can go and produce some halberdiers and whatnot. All right, so they'll just burn some walls, kind of useless stuff. And yeah, I understand that. I know what's happening. You can't burn stone. Nice try. Alright, so we're going to plop down some farms over here. Once we get rid of these trees, we'll have some more room to make some farms. And, alright, so you're done. You're going to help us out. You play a little John Deere for me. And thanks for watching part one of this uh, Ray Conquesta 
walkthrough, scenario walkthrough, and I'll see you guys in part two, and we're just going to be building up our base. I'm not going to do anything off screen. I'm just going to jump right back to it where we left off.